Hi everyone, this is Madison Slater. I'm a certified WatchGuard trainer here at JSCM Group. During this video, I want to walk you through application control and the best way to set it up on your WatchGuard firewall. Application control is one of the subscription services you can get with your WatchGuard device. It is included in both the basic and total security suite. With application control, we can prevent applications from being able to reach out to the internet. This allows us to further control the data leaving our system. You might be in a situation where you have been monitoring the traffic on your network and you're seeing a lot of activity you weren't expecting. For example, if you have Windows 10 devices, you're probably going to see a lot of Xbox and Skype traffic, even if you don't use these in your environment. Windows 10 comes loaded with a lot of applications, and these applications are chatty. Blocking them in WebBlocker won't do anything because they're not actually accessing a website through a browser. This is where application control comes in. We can identify the application itself and prevent it from being able to reach out to an outside source. In order to set up application control, we're going to go to the Subscription Services tab in Policy Manager and go down to the service. Application control works by building a profile and then by attaching that profile to our policies. By default, we're going to see the global profile. Typically, there's not anything configured here. This is meant more to use to log applications on your network instead of blocking them. Let's start by building a new app control profile. As you can see, you're going to have a lot of application choices here. There are two ways you can block these applications. We recommend to first start by blocking the application categories. When you do this, it will block any applications identified in that particular category. If new applications are added to the service, they will automatically get blocked if they are in the category you have set. You can also block by the individual application. To make this easier, you can either filter down based on the category, or you can do a search for an application that you're looking for. When it comes to creating a starting point with application control, we do have a few recommendations. Things such as games, peer-to-peer -peer file sharing, and tunneling and proxy services are all things you probably want to keep out of your network, so go ahead and block the entire category. Outside of that, try to familiarize yourself with the applications and make the decision based on what access is needed for your network. Once you have your profile set, we're going to go to the Policies tab. You want to apply app control to all outbound policies. Think of it in terms of anything that an application can use to get out to the internet. You'll want to put special attention on HTTP and HTTPS policies and make sure you apply it to the outgoing policy if you still have that in place. Application control is a constantly changing service. As new applications are identified, they will get added to the list. So you want to make sure that you're keeping an eye on the configuration so that you don't miss anything. If you already have it configured, but it's been a while since you've taken a look at it, now would be a good time to go through and check to make sure you have everything set the way that you want. You should do this on a regular basis moving forward. I'm Madison Slater, and this WatchGuard tip has been presented by JSCM Group. If you ever need assistance with configuring application control or any of the other services on your WatchGuard device, Shoot us an email at support at jscmgroup.com and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching.